All right, baby, let's get to our first challenge guide video for chapter two, season two. So as you know, this this like lobby screen, this battle pass screen is completely different and it's pretty neat to be honest. But it also took me a little to get used to because I did take a couple days to get used to it before I wanted to do one of these challenge guide videos. And, and to be honest, the challenges that they start off with are pretty easy for the most part. So yeah, but let's uh, navigate our way around here. I've already been used to this for like two days. But yeah, but of course we have the challenge table, which we'll look at these challenges, of course. And these challenges are kind of spread out around the map. It shows you like at different places where you can actually do the challenges. So yeah, so yeah. And these are the, this is the Brutus briefing challenge for the character of Brutus, which you'll be able to pick either i think was it shadow or i forgot the other one but you get to pick between two other brutus characters you could go with but yeah but let's go over the brutus briefing challenges right here so we have uh one of our first challenges is search chest at the grotto or the shark so yeah i've already done this challenge but you can go and like navigate where you could like find these challenges of course and the shark is in like the upper like uh uh, the upper west hand portion of the map right there. You probably know where it is now. So you can go like search for chests there or the grotto, which is over by Dirty Ducks. Pretty neat places, to be honest. I like those places. So yeah, they're pretty awesome. So deal damage enhancement is another challenge you like that's listed for Brutus's briefing. It's also a challenge I've done so far, and it's pretty easy. Just to have the deal damage to henchmen at the various new locations, which is the grotto, the shark, the rig or the agency or i think they're in other parts of the map as well like there is a place by sweaty sands you know the house over there just south of there that also has henchmen as well so yeah go do that so next we have open doors locked by an id scanner in different matches so yeah so you'll have these at the of course the rig the shark the grotto or the agency and for most of these challenges, you cannot go into Team Rumble to do them. So it's not quite that easy as it was before for these challenges. And for the ID scanner challenge, this is quite maybe a little bit, little bit of a difficult one. You got to get the ID scanner and then you got to go to the vault, of course, to unlock like the weapons in that vault. So yeah, so it is tough for this challenge, but you, I, I think you can get it done eventually. But the next one we have is an easy one and it disguise yourself inside a phone booth in different matches. So yeah, you'll find these phone booths at the shark, the grotto, the rig or the agency or anywhere else around the map. There are different locations that also have phone booths. So you could do that and that'll that's pretty easy. I think that I got that one done already as well. And next we have B crouch within 20 meters of an underwear henchman for a total of 10 seconds. So yeah, this has got to be, I think this will be easy. You just got to do it once and yeah. And this is actually one I've not done yet. So maybe I'll do it in this video. I think I might. So we'll see how that goes. And then we have throw different shield items or healing items. Got to do three of those, of course, in the Brutus briefing challenges. So you could do that. That's actually listed in um, the anytime challenges at the bottom of the Brutus briefing challenges. So that one's. A pretty easy one then we have eliminate players while having a total of 100 health and shield or more so you can actually go into team rumble for this one it's pretty easy and then the last one for the brutus briefing challenge is we have the land at Lockheed's lighthouse aspie ski and mount k so yeah you'll see um of course the lighthouse at the top here right here where the one is right next to the shark and then of course we go down mount k is right here and then aspie ski is right over here by Misty Meadows. So they actually list them down on the map. So you don't have to go looking for them or you don't have to even go online to see where these locations are in Fortnite. So yeah, so those are pretty easy for the most part, but the one that's gonna be the tough one is the, or sort of tough one is gonna be open doors with an ID scanner in different matches. So we'll see. So now we go to the Maya challenges and this is another little different thing they're doing in Fortnite here and that's customizing your own skin which is the Maya skin 
So yeah, so for this one, you're gonna get weekly challenges to complete, and every time you complete them, you get a customized uh, detail of the skin. And of course, the first one was um, achieve AR specialist by dealing 250 damage with an assault rifle in a single match. I actually got that one completed, and I was able to change the hairstyle. And the week two one actually looks like it leaked early. I'm not really too sure, but it is right there on the screen as I'm recording this video. And that's placed top 20 in a match five different times. And that is to get the tattoo upgrade. So, yeah. So, I don't know if they're going to, like, I don't know if that's a mistake that Epic maybe accidentally rolled out. Also, daily challenges and all challenges are also listed here on the map. Let's get out of this and go up to the upgrade at the corner of the screen, the upgrade vault, where you can actually customize the Maya skin. And you can see Ari customized her hair with, uh, I made it pink. So yeah, I thought it was a pretty dope look, but we can go inside and look. So it looks like the tattoos one is unlocked here, or it's not unlocked yet for me because I got to complete the challenge, but it gives me the option to complete the challenge now, which is, I think, uh, I might be a mistake because it, it did say week two yesterday. But the one thing I probably don't like is that you have to finalize the customization of the character. So you can see for hairstyle, I had to finalize that and I can no longer change it. So it's going to be pink throughout the rest of the game, which I'm kind of fine with. I like that style, but it's just like, I really wish I could customize it throughout the game and just go in. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Epic was thinking there, but maybe it's a maybe it's for a good reason. I'm not really sure. So when you're able to customize the tattoo, sleeves, boots, and whatever shirt colors in the coming weeks, you gotta um, you're gonna have to finalize that, and you gotta find what you like about that. But yeah, I just kind of wish I could finalize it when it's all done. I think you might be able to, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, but that's what I just think about it for the Maya challenges, which is I think it's cool. I think it's cool that uh, Epic is rolling out this and hope we have future skins like this in the coming seasons of chapter two. Also, if we scroll a little bit down right here, you can see the fan right here. And this is of course where you will see the Deadpool stuff. Of course, I had it in my first video of the season. So it's not really anything new for me, but if you go down to the computer, you will see like the challenges are listed on here. And <laughs> this is such a funny screen. But it says find Deadpool's letter in Epic Games, which I already did actually in the uh, first video. But that's, it's actually on the in the bathroom too. So just find it, read it, and that's, uh, well, that's all you have to get done. And then, of course, the second, um, the second uh, challenge was don't thank the bus driver. So all you do is just have to go in a game and don't thank the bus driver. So if you routinely thank the bus driver, hit that. Like if you hit that button, don't hit that button one time <laughs> and then we'll get that challenge done so that's all for week one for the deadpool challenges hopefully yeah hopefully i don't know when the deadpool skin will come out but it's probably towards the end of the season because it is considered the secret skin of the season so yeah so we'll see that so yeah secret letter or the letter of the epic right here is right here so yeah let's just get out of this bathroom because it is <laughs> disgusting Okay, I'm actually going to go to this house that's between Sweaty Sands and uh, Holly Hedges. So this house actually has henchmen over here. And there is a phone booth down there. You can see the red phone booth by the telephone pole. But I am going to try to do this. I don't know if there's like I'm going to be seen by a henchman. Because there is a henchman right there. Does he see me? Oh, he doesn't see me. Look at my challenge go up. He's gonna turn. He's gonna probably turn around a bit. Oh, I got it done. I got it done. Oh, they saw. I think they saw me. Ah, oh, they saw me. Oh no. Oh no. The element of surprise is lost. And I'm gonna try to run foot. Now get me in. How the hell did I get in? There we go. Hey, there we go. And now, they don't suspect a thing. I'm just going to walk right in and give myself a weapon. Oh, yeah, baby. Heavy assault rifle. Detonators. Oh, I got a heavy sniper rifle. I probably should get out before my disguise runs out. 
Want to see something cool? Kablam, baby. He didn't even die. Hey. Hey. That's how we take down some unsuspecting henchmen right there. Oh, 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 oh. So there you have it for the week one challenges in chapter two, season two. I didn't have to go into great detail at all, but I still hope it helped you out a bit. So yeah, so to stay up to date on these videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here. And also you could use my credit code in the Fortnite item shop if you still haven't purchased the battle pass. So yeah, I would appreciate it if you use my credit code or somebody else's credit code. It could be anybody else's, but yeah, it could be mine if you want, if you want. So yeah, and you can also check out twitch.tv Rebel Reindeer. Follow me on there because I do stream Fortnite as well as some other games. So until next time, I will see you folks later. I am out.